you strong. This is Cassie Bennett. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence while we reflect on today's activities and focus on demonstrating our best behavior. Please be seated. For your safety, remember to always follow the three W's. Wear your mask, wash your hands with soap, and watch your physical distance. Academic goal team. Please check your Schoology account for a message from Ms. Ms. Rawls on the details for the first competition. This first meet will be held October 6, 315 in Mr. Greenwell's room, 238. We need you to your book pictures. Send your pictures from quarantine, first day of school, Summertime and your workspace. Click on the graphic to the booth website to submit your photos. And you can also email them to warriorhearbook at mail.scboe.org. Seventh grade boys basketball tryouts will be held from October 19th through the 21st from 5 30 to 7 p.m. in the gym. All information can be found at www.coachedscience.com under the Warrior Groups tab, Condition Participation tab packet, which includes the current physical exam. It must be completed and, re and returned to the front office by Friday, October 16th. If you have any further questions, please contact Coach Dave Edinger at edinger.dave.mail.fcboe.org. There will be a volleyball tournament on Wednesday, September 30th from 5 to 7 p.m. at Stars Mill High School. According to history.com, on September 30th, 1822, Joseph Armand Hernandez became the first Hispanic to be elected to the United States of Congress. Born a, a Spanish citizen, Hernandez would die in Colombia, but between became the first non-white person to serve at the highest level of any three branches in the American federal government. Don't forget, a warrior is always responsible, respectful, and ready to learn. And now for your character lesson. Good morning, Booth Warriors. This is Addison with a few words of wisdom. Our world continues to be filled with social issues regarding racism and even slavery. If Frederick Douglass were still alive today, I think of what he would do. He would likely travel across the world solving the issues that are destroying our world. Today, remember this. You are never too young to have the ability to change something by standing up to it. You could be the one who gives our world the change that it needs. You could be the difference by letting your voice be heard. But something to think about, this is Addison. Make it a great day or not, the choice is always yours. Overwhelmed by homework? It can be difficult to keep track of everything during hybrid and remote learning. And it is easy to miss assignments. But this PSA will provide you with some helpful tips to figure out what your weekly homework is. Many teachers will post the upcoming week's assignments in Schoology and add them to the calendar. Log into Schoology. Click on the calendar icon at the top of the screen. Your assignments for the week are listed. Click on an item to access it and see if you already have a submission or a grade. If not, it is something that you still have to complete. Pro tip, be careful with the due dates as many teachers post based on the due date for group B. Group A may have an earlier due date. Note that not all teachers add assignments to the Schoology calendar, so the next tips might help you in this case. Another good way to figure out if you have any missing assignments is to check the grade report in Schoology. Click on grades and then grade report. Select the class to see the list of graded assignments. Look for items that don't have a grade yet. Click on one to access the assignment and see if you already have submitted it. If not, 
time to get to work. Pro tip, not all assignments are graded. So this next tip will help you to find those as well. Lastly, you can filter the course materials. You are probably familiar with this part of Schoology, but maybe you didn't know how to find which postings are the actual assignments. Click on courses at the top, select your course. Schoology will default to the course materials. Some teachers are good about arranging the materials by week and group and in class versus at home and archiving old materials, but some are not so organized. You can use the filter control to only see those postings that are assignments, test quizzes, or assessments. Apply the filter and then click one of the items to see whether you are already made a submission or received a grade. If not, one more thing to do. Now that you have identified all of your homework for the week, make sure to write it down in your agenda. This keeps you organized and it prevents you from having to hunt in Schoology all over again. Your agenda is already organized by date and class, so it is easy to keep track of everything. As a last resort, you can always email your teacher when in doubt about assignments. Click on the email icon at the top, then click new message. Search for your teacher's name. Make sure to select the right one. Add a subject such as this week's homework, then write your message. Click send. Pro tip, Schoology email is not the same as Gmail. Teachers may be more responsive to emails sent directly in Schoology.